back to the channel. Today, what I'm going to be talking about is, first off, my engine bill. It was successful. All right, this is the end result of my engine bill. It was successful. Let's go look at the exhaust back here. Mixing well, mixing well. The only thing I have left is to replace this fender, do the brakes and rotors, and this one is out of here. And now we can get to the business of lifting weight, health, nutrition in everyday bodybuilding news. And today what I'm gonna be talking about is, um, this thing is pretty old now because I've just gotten time to get around to it. And that's uh, uh, Kai Green on Instagram, the guy wearing the dress, the wigs and all this other stuff. And you have uh, YouTubers saying that it's possible that uh, Kai Green has gone too far. And my opinion of the situation is, is who really cares if the guy is gay, straight, sideways, backwards? Hey, who really cares? I mean, that's that guy's life. So he do what he want to do. And I personally don't think the guy is. I think he's just uh, drawing as much attention to his channel as possible. And if you're one of those who's actually watching his channel, you'll see that he's trying to take his channel to the next level. He's trying to incorporate uh, more things on his channel than just bodybuilding. And I think he's probably having um, thoughts and uh, inspirations of uh, some type of acting or something like that. Because those are the type of things that he's putting on his channel. To make it more entertaining. To show him that he's not just one dimensional. Like a lot of people in the fitness industry. They don't know how to do nothing else but lift weights. And, and talk about how much they eat or whatever. They, they don't have any other avenues to go down besides that. And what Kai is doing is showing you that he have more than one facet to him. Uh, he have more than one uh, avenue to travel down to entertain you. So I think that's all it is that he's doing is pretty much uh, showing you different facets of himself than just being one dimensional because that can be monotonous and that can be boring. So it's like I said, if you're not watching this channel, you're not seeing all the other things that he's trying to incorporate on that channel and develop it to the way that he wants it to be. Now, you can get caught up in whether or not the guy is gay, straight, or whatever. But you have a lot of the bodybuilders, uh, believe it or not, that are gay. Because th this whole thing is, like I told you before, is a beauty pageant. It's, it's concerned about how the physical body looks. And you got different men judging men and stuff like that. You're going to have some... Uh, gay people in there somewhere. It's just going to happen. That's just part of it. That's just the way it is. So it doesn't matter what his sexual preferences are. You know, the guy is trying to show you more than one dimension of himself. And he's trying to show you that it's more to him than just lifting weights. He got other things that he's talented in. And his channel is a pretty good channel. Now, you can get caught up on the other stuff and saying that he shouldn't do this and shouldn't do that. That may be good for that particular uh, YouTuber's channel. He can do what he want to do with his. Just like this guy's doing what he want to do with his. You know, everybody got their own opinion. And it's, his, and it's all right if he have an opinion that he think he's going too far. Or uh, this one right here may think that he's going too far. That's their opinion. Everybody got an opinion. You know, but... When it all comes down to it, that's that guy's channel. He's doing uh, what it takes to grow the channel. 
and he's pretty successful at it so far. Anyway, today is going to be arm day for me, and I'm going to, uh, like I said, stay within that uh, 10 to 12 rep range and within that 10 sets. And I'm going to try to get about three exercises out. Uh, I'm going to do uh, standing uh, barbell curls, also uh, seated dumbbell curls, uh, close grip, close grip bench presses, and also uh, lying uh, tricep extensions uh, overhead while you're laying down and you're pumping the uh, dumbbells up. I'm going to do those exercises right there for the day. And no matter uh, what it is that you are doing in your life, there's going to come times that you're going to stray away from lifting weights and all this other kind of stuff. But at some point, you also I always have to make it your business to get back into the weight room before it totally gets out of you. Now, if you've been doing it for a while, it's pretty much second nature for you to do that. It's easy to go back to it. But you have to even talk yourself back into lifting those weights. I personally uh, haven't been back to the gym, like I told you before. And like a lot of you know, I have my own weights. So I, I never really suffer from not being able to work out. But the workouts that I do perform are the basic exercises because I have basic equipment and not a lot of machines and stuff like that. It's all basic, uh, which... It's the avenue that I prefer to go down when I'm training. That's the thing that I prefer to do. Now, uh, if you're uh, caught up on the machines, then naturally you're going to have issues. So you have to get to the point that where you do the basics. Uh, bench presses, squats, uh, deadlifts, curls, bent over rows, all the basics. And you, you can't go wrong with the basics because... You're always going to be working those stabilizer muscles and you're going to have a overall better package when you do it that way. Anyway, that's what I wanted to talk to y'all about. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel. And again, I'll be talking to you later.